Guys, look at these little mangoes on the tree. A lot of little mangoes. Nice, eh? Hey? They're not ready to pick yet. It's our lamb chop display and pork chop. Yeah. It comes with chicken, sausage, salad and rice. And if you like mushroom sauce and onions. We had our full day done. Now we're gonna go home and eat our food. Right, Elvis? Right. Because he's your eye, and I just want to drink my lime drink that I've got in the fridge. Must be nice and chilled now. We come and buy a coconut off this man here. He sells it on the side of the road. Three bucks each. So I was gonna go and get us about uh, two each. There's one more in our fridge. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, he also has um, like tomatoes and that. He has a little greenhouse over there uh, where he grows his stuff. He dropped some coconut, guys. He had one job. <laughs> and look, it fell on the floor, on the ground, and all the juice came out. Uh, I heard this crack like, uh, is someone trying to throw something at our car? No, it's this guy over here. I see him out of a fully out of fight. That's how fast I'll allow my little brother. Yeah, man. They let out your pass, I'll allow letting you. Let me see the other. Go in my day, play, play, I'm with I. Nice and new. Yeah, have a bite, guys. So the new, the juice must have been sweet too. Did you see how that man was cracking the end of the nut? That, it didn't even seem like he was ha hammering that hard. And he got it open. Now you know what to do, darling. And this is Alva's barbecue. Mm -hmm. He got himself a big pork chop there. That's Alva's barbecue. It's too yummy. Cheese to that man, that man will get all fussy. Good on everybody and good morning. Uh, today here in Rarotonga is uh, Wednesday? Thursday. Oh, Thursday. Okay. It's Thursday here. It's still the same weather, windy and cool. <laughs> so we just had a shower this morning and um, so for our breakfast this morning, it's, uh, people call it sour sop. <coughs> in, uh, here in the Kukaran, we call it napo napo. This is a napo napo. And uh, from my, what I heard is, this is really healthy. It's, it's good for your health. So here in the Kukaran, we break it by hand, but just, no. Oh, well. Yeah, the proper way is long way. Yeah, I wanted the long way so we yeah. can save one half and then... Yeah, that, that's the proper way is long We're not way. having it for breakfast. We're just gonna, I'm going to just taste it for the first time. Inside, inside here, there runs uh, like the the, the the core. See, there's a core like the uru. Oh, I want to show it. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, there's a core. It's just like the uru. There's a core in the middle. It's all eatable. Everything inside the skin is eatable. And they got little pots, the little pots. And usually in the pots, there are seeds in the pots. If I pick one, one pot out. Yeah, see, there's a seed. There's a seed. So you put it in your mouth like this. Is it sweet? Yeah. Oh yeah. It's um, it's custody, custody, because it's the family of the custard apple. This this fruit, the sour sop, or the number number we call it here, is the family of the custard apple. So it tastes custody. So you cut it across like this. 
like that. And then you're going to pick it up like this. Take the middle close up. Or... It's all eatable. Oh, okay. Mm. And what my mom used to do back in the days, she picks all this, put it in a bowl, add a bit of uh, sugar and, and water, and make it into a drink. Yeah, break all the parts up, off, and then make a drink out of it. Okay. My turn to try mm. it. We bought it and it was ripe, you know, ripe just, but we left it for like a couple of days and it's gone extra soft. Guys, have a bite. It's got a very strong smell, eh? Oh, in Lake Duggan, we used to have a few trees behind the house. When they fall to the ground, after uh, days or a week, they attract flies because they got a powerful odor about them. Yeah. It's got a little bit of flavor of a feature, eh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fijawa, guava, mm -hmm. all those things. Mm. And guava, yeah. And you know, uh, any face towel? Paper towel. I oh, just you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so in New Zealand, I mean in Australia, they come in cans. The juice. Oh yeah, that's what we get to drink. Yeah. <laughs> the sour soft drinks. And on my right here, I got a. I got a paper here, and they're saying the government, by by requirement, if you want to travel freely in and out of the Cook Island, and when we came to the airport, I was asked by the immigration because I'm a Cook Island born. Oh, you don't have a stamp, and I say what stamp? And then he said it's a requirement by the Cook Island government that all Cook Island descent must have a stamp in their passport or at the back of their passport that allows them to travel freely back and forth to the Cook Island. So they need their special stamp. If you don't have their stamp, you are required, even though you're Cook Island descent or Cook Island born, you are required by the government to show a proof of a return ticket. That's what the, the government requires. So, if you have that stamp, you don't need to prove to them that you got a return ticket. You can come in and out and stay as long as you want, as long as you have that stamp. So, I got the form here because I went to the immigration and asked them all, what, all about this. So, I, I got the form here, I got to fill in the form and I have to have a passport and a, a birth certificate that shows that I was born here in Cook Island. Even the Cook Islanders that are born out of, out of the Cook Islands, they need to bring a birth certificate to their own and also, and also their parents' birth certificate that says that they were born or born in the Cook Island or a Cook Island descent. So that's it. Yeah, <laughs> no, and I can get one too. Yes, and your spouse, my spouse, or any Cook Islander that married to outsiders, not from Cook Island, they, the, the, the spouse can have, also have their stamp and they can freely travel in and out of the Cook Island without any proof of a return ticket or where you're living, or all that. Yeah, so, you have to have a marriage certificate. Yeah, so we caught up Sharon last night and um, we asked for her birth certificate, because she's coming to join us on Monday coming. And um, yeah, so we said to her, bring her birth certificate. She went and got it straight away. And she goes, I'm ready. And then I said to her, and can you please go and find me and dad's um, marriage certificate, please? And she goes, why? And I go, so I can get a stamp too. And she goes, um, excuse you, it's only by blood. <laughs> she's teasing me but yeah 
if you want to um, just come through with a one-way ticket into Cook Island, you have to have proof that you got that stamp, um, that you're either um, a full, uh, Cook Islander by, by blood or uh, through marriage. So, mm. I so, think they do that in Samoa too, eh? Yeah, they, Samoa did that before. Mm. The Cook Islanders see Samoa, say, eh? they're way ahead. Mm. Okay, guys. This is our breakfast. Soon we're going to go to the, the town and process all this. And plus other things we have to process. Yeah, and we're going to go look for his maroro fish, yeah. if there's still any available. Because when we were yesterday, uh, the the thing was shut down like, Wamala Simele Fiai Maloloa at the immigration. Is it immigration? Not immigration. It's uh, court. The what? what? Your birth certificate. Yeah, you gotta get it at the courthouse. Mm -hmm. and, then... and then we gotta go around looking for his Maloloa. Then we gotta go and uh, see the, what, are they, what is it? The, the land people to give us approval for building. That's one of the things too, eh? Yeah, guys, we're gonna build something. Uh, yeah. We're gonna build a jail for Elvis <laughs> so he can sing his jailhouse rock. rock. <laughs> Cheers. The paper. I forgot the paper. Open, open. One job, mate. Yeah. You know when you get old, you forget the stuff. Yeah. Since we've been here, we've been here windy for so long. And it's good. The wind is good and it's keeping things cool. Cool. Because once it stops, it turns humid. Uh, and it's chasing the mossies away. <laughs> Back up the hills. Is that what I told you? Just, Try again just, tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Tomorrow, come in tomorrow. Just uh, get the fella here tomorrow. tomorrow. Thank you. Yeah. Sorry about that. He woke up too late. Yeah. <laughs> it's purple inside. It's a fruit. Oh, okay. We'll, 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 we'll try it. Yeah, take four or something. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Back in the days. Oh, just buy it these days, not back in the days. Yeah, yeah it's gonna be quick. Yeah, yeah. Morning, morning. Morning. One or two. Ooh, we're lucky today. Thank you. We can get it. Oh well, when Sharon comes, this is the yeah, when Sharon comes, then we can um, get that kind of. Time. Gotta try these fruits, guys. What are these called? Do you know what they're called? No, I forgot. You forgot. I don't. I can't help you because I can't remember these fruits growing up in Samoa. Oh, it's nice and soft and it looks nice too. Look at that. Ooh. Hold on. Yeah, take a bite, guys. This is a pineapple. Moraine pie. Moraine pie. Nice, don't have that anymore. Look at that. Soft. Yep, the bun is good too. Look at this, guys. Bye, bye. Nice. Take a bite, guys. Right. Yummy. No, this is the coconut one. 
Oh yeah. Oh, I like the I like the bun. Look. Ooh. It's good on here. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Whoa. You know you like the HSA because that's where all the soft um that's why I came in the middle way. Now the egg is with the crunch. The soft is in the middle. This you know the bad sauce really fish. Oh you keep the tongue in it. Look, we were meant to come and just drop this and go back and carry on with what we were doing. And look, look what's happening. <laughs> Too good. And we're supposed to just have a taste. Yeah. <laughs> Next minute, they have a feed. <laughs> mm. Nice, eh? Your yeah. hand is good. Sorry, guys. Mm. We just have to leave it like this. See the bread? It's not the airy fairy, you know. I don't like the airy fairy almond. This one is like a chew, like a chew to it. It's nice. We're lucky in this building because um, it's got fly screens, so we can leave our food over here and there's no flies. Yeah. Only, only really miniature ants. Yeah, well. If you got sugar anywhere. Oh, that is Yeah, tip, tip the tomato in there, same thing. Mm, yeah. Try it, nice. Because she had a, a small packet, like a three pack, and a six pack. And their pineapple pie, oh, it's one of the best I've had. That's a pineapple um, pie. Pineapple meringue, and it's crunchy, the bites. Mm. How nice the lift, guys. They lock the steps and lift the, the lift. Excuse me, what? that's the place to use their lift. <laughs> Don't worry. Air conditioned too. Mm -hmm. We're going up. It's only one flight of Don't get excited. <laughs> Don't get excited, mister. Good, they built one, eh? Have you for the disability people? Oh, oh don't say that close. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ta da! Thank you. So guys, if you're Cook Islander and you don't have your stamp, after you come from the courthouse, getting your birth certificate, if you didn't bring it with you, and you're Cook Islander, and when you get your birth certificate, you cross the road, and you go over to the immigration office to get your um, stamp.
Who said that tongue of the one? Well, 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 guys. Uh, got some viewers because uh, it's there's three units. Like there's one there, one here, and then one next door. So there's three units. Yeah, 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 well, whoever you are, and if you watch this video, or one of these videos, thank you for saying hello. I was just in here having a nap, because later on, guys, I want to fry me my steak, because, you know that donut and everything that we ate earlier? Oh, my. Mm. It made me full. And then we went around and did what we had to do. And then we saw um, a friend of ours, Marama and Tangi. Yeah, we saw them too at the courthouse. They were doing their Cook Island uh, uh, stuff and yeah, so we met up and and another thing, they're going through what we went through to try and get land and stuff and they had to run around too, just like us. We, But if they had met us earlier, we would have told them what they had to do is simple, you know, simple they had to do is um, do what they do and then it's done. But. You know, when you go up to the courthouse, they, they give you the run around and they, they haven't done it too. They don't really know. So, but anyway, I'm talking too much. I, I'm going to have a little lie down and then I'm going to go and cook me some. We went and looked for some mushrooms. Couldn't find any mushrooms at Caps. Caps is just down that way. Um, about a two minute drive from here. We went to look for mushrooms. They didn't have mushrooms. So I guess there'll be steak and... Parawa. <laughs>